Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what y'all can screen, see on screen right now. And it's those Season 2 Super Packs here in NBA 2K25, my team. Whether or not they are worth picking up, what they're going to do to the auction house, and some things like that here in this video. Before we hop into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I'm uploading every single day, tens of consistent daily. My team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So let's check out these super packs. So obviously every single promo card from season two is going to be in these, which means we got Anthony Edwards, Jason Tatum, and Sidney Moncrief. Every single pink diamond in season two, including guys like Harden and Dr. J, Embiid, Granger, Hakeem, Kawhi, Wimby, KD, Hero, Levine, Jokic, Magic, Clay, Stack, uh jimmy kg every base every single one of these cards came out in season two and also including guys like paulo and jack sigma and miles turner jaron jackson jr some of the best diamonds in my team as well a very very stacked um super pack obviously but the odds are the most important question and they're not all that good i'll be honest i definitely thought they were gonna be better than that i was convinced that the diamond was gonna be at least 10 percent like we got um in these aura packs and that we would probably get three or four percent pink diamond seven percent diamond 2.2 percent pink diamond less than one percent opal ah, it's a little bit disappointing i'll be totally honest that's not like those are not what i would consider great odds also this season two super bundle which contains five season two players with one guarantee it's still only ruby or higher 38 percent chance at a diamond and 8.1 uh, percent chance at a 95 plus that's actually worse odds than this aura bundle. That's interesting. Huh. Um, that bundle is actually not at all worth opening. Like this is not worth spending MT or VC on. And neither are the super these are not worth it. Now, the I thought that I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't expect them to actually be worth it, worth it. Like where, oh yeah, this is a good expense. But at the same time, I did expect them to be a little bit more worth it but they're worse than deluxe packs which i guess they are cheaper vc wise but the super bundle is also worse than the aura bundle that's so weird i guess the only I, this has a 92 plus topper it's a better topper than season one i'll say that um this is I, not quite as all oh it's also got a higher interesting so the 20 boxes i mean look that's the best value like overall those are the those have the best odds they have um 11 percent diamond odds instead of seven 2.4 percent pink diamond instead of 2.2 which is pretty much no different and i guess that's probably that 11 percent is well no that's probably because of the 20 box because the 92 plus is guaranteed so um out of the top i should say I, I, that's not horrible i guess it's going to be really interesting in all honesty to see what these super packs actually do to the auction house uh, whether or not there are a lot of cards like Wimby and D, um, and Dr. J and whoever else that are like the most desirable cards when they come out today. Uh, that's going to be interesting for sure. Like, I think that's one of the most interesting things to actually follow to see is just how prices are affected today. And I will tell you this. There was um, a lot of people, I feel like, yesterday who were kind of selling some cards and some pack odds and some, some stuff was kind of dropping in price over the past uh, day or so, which was interesting to see with Super Packs. Um, so I actually did, as y'all can see, I only have 2 million MT instead of 4. Um, I picked up 2 cards for right at about 200, 2 million MT, which was um, Dr. J and Wimby. Because I wanted to get my 5 showdown win streak, which y'all will see um, that video later. But I did get Dr. J and I got Wimby. So the other thing about this was this Wimby has freaking Hoff Legend, or sorry, Legend Pogo Stick. And then he's got 5 extra Hall of Fame badges as well, which are Deadeye, Limitless, uh, box out beast brick wall immovable enforcer and um, shifty shooter so he's got six extra half badges as well and then that uh, legend pogo stick so really really good souped up Wimby with pretty much every single important big man badge like the shooting badges the defense badges and um, just really good completeness which is really nice so i do believe that that was a pretty good deal for one point a little bit over 1.2 that was really good and then i got a dr j with half immovable and half um shifty for 830 so like two really good affordable not affordable but for those two guys who are literally the two best cards in the game and probably will be two of the best cards in the game for quite a lot while being able to get them for that little was actually really nice like this this is a not even as souped dr j right now that's going to go for probably more than that 
it looks like with 31 minutes left. I feel like that was a really good price. Now, obviously, I'm recording this video on the Super Packs 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, actually, but after Super Packs dropped. There should very much, I would think, be more of these guys on the auction house today. And they should hopefully drop in price a bit. Like, I, I would hope you can maybe get Wimby for around a million MT later today. Um, and I do actually think that the odds should probably continue to get a little bit better. Like, I think there will be more and more of these guys on the auction house in today's, later on today. But I, I would say, realistically, with the odds the way they are, it's not going to be quite the drop of the auction house that I kind of thought we were going to get. Because, yes, there will 100% be people ripping super packs, uh, spending a bunch of VC, opening these 20 boxes, all that type of stuff. But then there's also going to be, I think, a lot of people who go, ah, these odds aren't really all that much better. I'm not going to waste my money. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how much people are willing to spend on um, super packs and things like that. And if it actually makes a big impact on the market, because generally super packs are the one thing that people are willing to like spend, spend on. And so the odds don't feel like very good though. I mean, I guess the twenties are decent. That's probably what people do if they, if they decide to spend, I honestly would recommend not like, you think if that, if I'm given my opinion, I would stay away at this point from super packs. I just don't think the value is there even on these twenties. Um, I mean, they have the best value, but they're still not that good. And let's, let's think about it. 2.4% odds. You open, let's just say two twenties. You you do a four fifty and you open two twenties and like five singles. Um, that's forty five packs. You might pull one pink diamond on average out of that for hundred bucks. Like it's it, even with theoretically better odds, you're still probably not getting anything all that good. And like, bleh, that's pretty bad. And that combines with no content. I mean, this is going to be. A non-content week besides probably Thanksgiving or maybe maybe they do content on Wednesday this week instead of Thanksgiving. We'll see um, what their plan is. But there isn't like a lot of stuff to do or a lot of things to grind or anything like that. I don't think there's really that much value in, um, in packs. But I don't know. I would stay away from super packs. That's all I'm saying. It is up to y'all what you want to do with your or with your money. But I don't think super packs are like this great deal that's so much better odds than everything else that you've done or that we've that we've gotten over the last month or two like the game's still in a kind of a gross state and that hasn't changed i just thought i got really good deals on two super souped like versions of two of the best cards in the game and Wimby and dr j so like at some point i may sell them back but even if i don't sell them back even if i do it's gonna those guys are gonna keep their value and may even increase in value in a lot of ways um, I feel like I got a really good deal on both those guys with the good extra badges. So I wasn't mad about that purchase because I wanted to get my showdown win streak done last night anyway and have like competence over my team. The rest of my team still all the other cards, but I did get those two guys back and it was expensive, but still have over 2 million. And um, I, I, I'm surprised super packs are bad, but I actually think that might work out for my investment, I guess, in Dr. J and Wimby because those guys should probably drop in price even less than I would anticipate, would have anticipated. And it's just like, Bleh. I don't know. Not great. Not great, unfortunately. Um, let me know if y'all get anything good out of Super Packs, but I would, again, not encourage probably ripping into them. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.